had his eyelid skin completely melted off, which was the worst way to start the graduation, you know. But I'll, anyway, moving right along. Moving right along. Guess what, guys? We're fucking sick. Yeah, we're going to be a bit flat today. It's been a... Uh, I think our bodies are starting to give out. Had a bit of a celebration on the weekend. And um, fuck, yeah. Woke up on Sunday and it's been downhill since then. So it's going to be a low energy episode. How but, high are you out of 10? But yeah, we've had a little bit of weed to try and make it look weird at least. You know, so it's like... I'm probably like 5 out of 10. So it's like the silent weird type funny. Yeah, I'm keen on just doing a bit of weed oil. Oh, yeah. Sort of detoxing. I've been having my vital greens again. Yeah. I'm going to start exercising. I have fucking cellulite all over my torso. <laughs> big, big divots. It's like fucking old woman shit. Big bu- bullet wounds. Yeah. These stretches in the holes. It's like a beehive. Yeah, it's not good. It's not looking good. We haven't worked out probably for a long time. Isolation's really... It like, fucked the world hard, eh? It's really fucked our, our routine up. We, yeah. We don't, we don't exercise. How we eat like shit. How hard to wake up in the morning? Yeah, I know. It's fuck. just fucking... I look at the phone and I just go, fuck it, snooze. And then I press it like a hundred times and then yeah. it's like 5 p.m. Yeah, and then it's like, oh, fucking bedtime. Time for bedtime. And then fucking back down you go at about six, quarter past six. And you're, you're in and out till about midnight and then bang, we're you're slowly, fucking gone. We're slowly getting there as well with Twitch, guys. We've figured out we've got to do like eight hours of live stream before we can... But we'll promote it a little bit in there because we need to get like a few followers or some shit. Yeah. To be in the, whatever so you call it's, them. It's pretty much set up now. And um, Matt Brown. Matt Brown from... He's sitting back in his chair. He's sitting on like a bar stool and he's sort of leaning back and his arms are folded and he's looking at me, looking at Michael, looks back down to the, to the soundboard. Is that what you call that? The soundboard? Do you ever no, he's play with it? Do you ever like do little fucking turns and shit? No, he keeps looking up and down. Yeah, sometimes because sometimes you get very loud. And oh, oh, like, oh, shut oh. up, <laughs> man! Shut up! What the fuck was that? You oh. asked. Yeah, I know. <laughs> God damn it! <laughs> That's so fucking research <laughs> statistician. Oh, speaking of research, what have you done? Have we got it? Oh, my God. You would not believe the shit that I'm about to smash into your fucking head holes, cunt. <laughs> Some of these facts are out of my mind. Worldview ZX to the nth degree, my friends. ZX? Yeah. That's when Z goes before X. Yeah, which never happens. That's in a different That's universe. how fucked this is. I've got those fucking eyebrows poking over my fucking eyes again. It could they be a can- shit me, it could man. be cancer. It could be a brain tumor as well. Like no, optical. Oh, you start see, start seeing shit in your peripheral. It's a symptom of eye of uh, brain and eye cancer. <laughs> oh, they got him a giggle. Oh, this is sponsored by the University of Markle.com. If you want to support us, um, fucking get. Fucking on it, cunt. What did we just watch before? And we we remember, did the gel blaster vid. Yeah, we redid it, except it's crazy. And so you can just remember it's 14 days free. I fucking hate explaining this every week. It's 14 days free. So if you want to watch the videos that are on there already, we found a, like a way around it. So you never have to really hole. pay. But it's still <laughs> a fucking dog move on us. <laughs> Try and, it's a fucking cup of coffee. Yeah, so but we are we're selling right out. We're out of here. We're selling right out. We we fucking we just want that cash. We want that dollar. We dollar. want to be able to make money for what we do. <laughs> no, we Facebook want that cash. don't pay that well. Ah, la, la, raining, raining cash. <laughs> and um yeah, so we want that, so please give us your money and subscribe to that. Alright, on this day in Oh, hello Matthew. Oh, off off to the side. He's adjusting the lighting. I'll have a Matthew Brown, thanks. I'll have a Matthew Brown and I'll move that around. <laughs> Brown and He's round timing. rhymed. <laughs> that was cute. <clears throat> In- Look at him. Look at his package. Mm, yeah, you can see his bulge through yeah, his well, pants. You do have a bit of a bulge. Yeah, hey? Yeah. I remember I borrowed some of your undies once and it, fuck, tinge. I had some room in them. Yeah. It was just like space. All right. But it still kept the groove, so it looked like I had a big dick. Thanks, man. Okay. On this day in 1960, Jeffrey Rush started burying his fingernails in the backyard in hopes that fingers would grow so that he could go... 
with them. When the fingernails didn't grow, Jeffrey's frustrations grew so intense that he king hit his wife right in the sternum. Oh, that would hurt. You could probably kill him if you hit him in the stomach. Yeah, hard enough. 100%. Would it just, what, shatter it and then go into your I lungs? I think it would just break the ribs into the lungs so you'd, like, drown with your own blood pissing out of your fucking mouth. Apparently a throat hit's really dangerous. <laughs> yeah, I'll uh, text Jeffrey and let him know. <laughs> <laughs> All right, on this day in 2005, Megan Fox learned how to excrete a sticky substance from the palms of her hands so that she could scale the sides of buildings much like a gecko. She had has been seen scuttling along the sides of high-rise buildings and flicking her tongue at passing birds. She's still hot though. Yeah, how did you how does she flick her tongue? I, I'm not sure, it just I think she's sort of just just one yeah, oh. as fast as she can. Wow. And it must be the sticky shit on her tongue too so she can catch him. And your very weird little gecko thing there about Megan Fox. Holy fuck. <coughs> she, I saw her recently. She was in a film clip. High Rise Building. Yeah, Machine Gun Kelly. Yeah, MGK's latest, Bloody Valentine. I Good film. Are they dating? She still looks as hot as ever. Oh, I wonder. No, no. But dating? he is definitely, not, he definitely would have had a turn. Fake news? Yeah, it's fake news. I wonder he would have had a go. I wonder if they'll use that trick she can do like for the movie yeah nah no she's not in a movie it was just a film clip fucking bitch on this day in 1996 Nicolas Cage started breaking his fingers regularly he was seen jumping up as high as he as high as he could and landing with his entire body weight on his outstretched fingers when asked why he was doing this he answered because what doesn't kill you makes you stronger asshole <laughs> just imagine seeing someone do that yeah I've seen her on YouTube it's like it went viral so you like jump in, up then quickly straighten your finger where you just land with your full body weight like that. With, and so your legs would be facing yeah, the sky. Yeah, okay. Outstretched. And they just spread out. So it's like high jump. Picture a belly flop high jump. You know how they flop over, but you land on your outstretched fingers. <laughs> and then your legs come back over sort of like a scorpion. Yeah, so he, yeah, so apparently he would, have, he would break them and then go and reset them at, at the hospital. And then as soon as they were healed, he would go and break them again. And he just did that for like a period of three to four years. Wow. That must have been before Gone in 60 Seconds. Or maybe during. Maybe even during that. Oh, these fucking Matt Brown Brown's heads. Uh, typing. He's, he's got a research facility in front of him. Wow. That was before Gone in 60 Seconds. Yeah. <laughs> 96, wow. where he broke his hands. Um, but 2000 was Gone in 60 yeah, Seconds. Okay. Yeah. That that's brilliant. probably what... That's, that's probably how it all the, aligns. Yeah. It all aligns now. The, well, that, they we probably that told problem. him to stop doing that. And he said, all right. Because you can't steal you cars, can't steal especially cars. in 60 seconds if you're breaking, you got fucking broken hands. That's what happened. Well, that's how he stole cars. He would break his hands so they could easily get into the window. Ah, oh, oh, that's director. how he did it. Director. Fuck. Yeah, Good right, research. Yeah. There's there, director cunt. policies. Um, Good research. That's great shit. That's producer level high growl. Growl? Growl. On this day in 1983, wow. Robert De Niro gently sat on some store-bought eggs for seven days straight. He was very gentle and would whisper sweet words, sing and stroke them lovingly. Incredibly, the eggs started hatching half-chick, half-De Niro creatures. De Niro raised the creatures as normal children slash pets, and the De Niro creatures are all grown up now and live in Hollywood. Most of the creatures are rapists. Wow. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> so what? They're like half chicken. They half like Nero creatures, yeah. So I guess like it'd be half halfway between a chicken and uh, and an animal size. How the fuck? But like a- able to function enough to like you know live. I in- didn't hear about that on the news. Yeah, I know. They always try and squash it. They oh hush hush big hush hush. I give you money. Hush hush it. That's what De Niro would have said. And then they just fucking you know what I mean? Yeah, exactly, dude. Hundred percent. I get that. You know what I mean? And now it's time for... I can't yell right now because my throat's all fucked, but Matt has um, kindly renamed the segments in a really soft, gentle language. Um, Elven language, I believe he says it is. Oh. Matt, from the elves? Is that right? Elves. Yes. Okay. Elven is a pretty word. I want to call my... Disgusting. It's an elven and the chimney. Really weird. Boy, elven. Like plays like Dungeons and Dragons or something, but it's Oh, yeah, true. It is sort of fucking... Yeah. Anyway, the segment has been renamed to... I love the ending. So, um, yeah, which is Elvish for um, 
uh, let's read some questions that you guys have sent in via Instagram. And sometimes we see comments. Uh, where do we send the questions to? Send them to the at Marty and Michael Instagram account. Okay, not not our ringworms, just the the main account, and we'll get to them. But there's heaps now, so just just keep sending those questions in week after week. Fucking stab them in there. Stab them right up it. Yeah, and I only go through a few, and there's so many. So don't be upset if we don't fucking take yours. Right <coughs> now, this isn't a question, but this is from Jonesy dot. 30 and he's asked us to talk about this because he's got a wife no not a wife a girlfriend and he said my girlfriend amanda calls me childish and immature for watching your videos and listening to your podcasts can you do me a favor and call her a cunt, cunt. A podcast from ireland love from ireland cunt oh, no she's not a cunt she's a fucking cunt, cunt. all right next one's from hayden rendell and he has asked, do you guys see yourselves so far ahead of Stephen Hawking's or are you still trying to get to his level in your opinion? It's hard. Different levels. He just, he was more like his, his work was like, you know, in philosophy and, and stuff like that. Ours is just strictly. We're more practical experiments. Yeah. yeah ours is more like every day to day shit people actually need. You like, know what I mean? I'd like, say he might be, oh, just smarter in the head. His thinking method was similar, so we just applied that, but just to shit that people actually need and, and use and shit yeah, like we, that. Yeah, we, we, we don't dumb it down. We make it simpler for the common person. Yeah, ask if anyone on the street, can, what's experiments Hawking's done, cunt? And they fucking well, don't know. They don't know any experiments Hawking's done, cunt. No one knows. But <laughs> yeah, people, ask, people, ask people what Marty fair, and Michael so. on the streets, everyone will fucking give you a practical fucking example and tell you what now I'll for free. I'll show you vids. I'll tell you what now for free. It's up there and it fucking does it properly. You get the answer straight up your fucking backside, cunt. I'll tell you that one for free, my brother. Thanks. <laughs> Renak Revan. Car, Revan Car. Will you ever do a live podcast? Oh, Matt? probably. Oh, it's definitely something I'd like to explore. Oh, but, oh that was fun. No, let me finish. <laughs> but it's so hard to do a live podcast with you two because things are just out of control. Yeah, people but. don't see the cuts where we run off and and do drugs and shit and come back. <laughs> People don't see that. And we can't do that live, obviously. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Next one's from Harry, Harry Brolia. Brolia. How does it feel to be the most famous Australians other than Cardinal Pell's nephew, Hugh Jackman's toenail? Love the content. Hugh Jackman's toenail? Yeah. I would say, fuck, we're probably above the toenail. Oh, oh, maybe well, if, the if, toenail. If he Googles it and something comes up, that's beating us. Mm. Anyway, we'll get there. How does it feel? Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck me. Right now, I feel like shit. I feel tired, def- fatigued, mal- <coughs> malnourished. <coughs> fucking oh, hurt. It's like a constant hangover. Oh, hey, hurt. that's how life is for me. I just want to roll into a ball and accept. Yeah. Uh, the fame, fuck, it's not all, it's not. It gets pretty fucking frustrating. Uh, it's not even that. It's a, it's a very low level yeah. fame. It's not. not so that you go annoying. to a bar and go, "You that cunt who fucking rips his tone out? Let me buy you a beer." That's about. That's how good it gets. What I do think. You I think the level of fame for you was in Bali on your birthday, and you and me are about to go down a, a zip wire. Oh. And um, just as we're about to get on it, some big fat Australian dude that came along and was like. You're that bloody smoking guy from the internet. <laughs> and then I fucking went down and like, yes, I am. <laughs> Sculling a beard. I vaguely remember that. Yeah, fuck. That's what it's like. Yeah. <laughs> You're that smoking cunt from the internet. <laughs> so I don't know people that would say like, oh, from Facebook or from from the phone. Your You're the guy from phone. the phone. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, you're on the screens. <laughs> you're in the television. You're in front of my eyes sometimes. <laughs> you're mm. alive. <laughs> you're you. You're real. Malfunction. You're. You're r- real. You're. Malfunction. Or fun. <laughs> Imagine this. <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> Next one's Rachel Dunaway. Hey wankers, question for the podcast. 
She got. She won the free membership, by the way. Oh wow! Well done, Rachel. Mm. Uh, if we had to be in a TV sitcom family, which would we choose? Me. Oh, a TV sitcom family. Mm. Oh, that's very good. Um, maybe hers fucking... would be Always Sunny in Philadelphia, which I can see. I wanted to say that. I can't think I of many at the moment. You, Rachel, I'd be in The Simpsons. <laughs> which character would you be? You'd no, be... I'd be Marty in The Simpsons. <laughs> no, you'd be you'd be Mister. No, you'd be Smithers. Oh, the... <laughs> <laughs> I could see you being Mister Smithers. <laughs> Doing dances for Burns and shit. I'm gay for Luke Hodge. Hodge. And he's asked, have you ever tag teamed with Matthew Gregory Brown from Wholesome? This is for you, Marty. On a massive dairy cow. No, Matt's never really expressed an interest in my cow slam fuck killing. Would you you fuck a cow with him? Like a hot cow. Like big, a big, fucking big brown one, eh? Fit, <laughs> fit. Big fat brown one, mm, grass like a, fed. No, I reckon he'd like the fucking Brahmin. dairy ones with the spots, the black spots. Mm. I'm gonna say no, but pussy. You know, four a.m. in the morning. Yeah, too many wines. Yeah, if you've too many wines. Yeah. Two cases. Yeah, that's tea. it. Yeah, yeah. Couple, yeah. Of caps. couple of valves. Straight cow out the front. Marty's there. Ha! <laughs> <laughs> Rope yeah. the fucking legs on her already. <laughs> Come on, Matty. <laughs> you do it. Jump on, you. cunt. I'll oh, have a go for him. <laughs> for the boy. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> Fuck it to death. Yeah, the boy. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, please say yes. Just at least finger the thing. Yeah, of course he would. All right. Yeah, he definitely Fingers. would. I'd be pretty confident I could get a fuck out of him. All right, next question is from Rory underscore Kiwi underscore 93. Oh, Marty, what would you do if you caught me fucking a cow? I'd relax my entire body and let my body float down a river and I would uh, meditate as I um, as I slowly dissolved into sand. What about... Oh, that's pretty weird. <laughs> um, what about... Okay, he said if you just had your way with it and then I'd had a go. Now, remember, you fucking normally hate him after. She so should be cool with oh, me. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, if it's the same cow, then, yeah, I would obviously be like there's no attachment there. Like, and it's... Yeah, I haven't really it's thought It's probably half dead after you fucked it too. Well, yeah, most of the time, yeah. And it'd just be a bit of a shame coming back after. Like, if he'd been... Because I always come back and have a look at him a bit. Like, just to see the site had been disturbed, though. That's probably the only thing where it'd be... You know I guess I mean? it'd look cooler because they'd be a lot of the time like rotting or mm. yeah but like if I guess you'd be fine yeah he'd be fine with it yeah but that is okay with me mate alright last questions from Noah Jesek what gives each of you blokes a tad bit of anxiety just to make you piss your pants a little um health scares yeah death death's mine health I scares and about the death. older you get the weird shit starts happening in your body Oh, and yeah, so fucking, and we have not treated our bodies well at all. So it's like, it's always like, when's it going to happen? When's it coming, huh? When's that fucking, when's that day? When's the news? Yeah. So you just try and have fun with the days you have before that news. Do you guys get a bit of anxiety from work, like doing social media? Oh, of course. Yeah. Yeah. It's like, because you've always got to fucking come up with the fucking next fucking yeah, fucking. It's, it's a video every week. There's a, you know. There's really yeah. a lot of. And like, and you got to step up some of the pain shit, especially for the website now. Like, I love it. It's, it's fun. But fuck. Trying to. There's going to be one day where you just snap the wrong bone and then fuck. You are, Stephen. Yeah, fuck. You get too high. I get too high sometimes on the marijuanas. And I can just go so deep into my brain and I think about death and then it's like, fuck. <laughs> that gives me anxiety. But that's to be honest. Cuckoo, man. For you, I know. And that's question time. <laughs> All right. Next segment has been renamed in Elfish by Matt Brown, the researcher. Researcher. And it has been renamed to... <laughs> And this segment is uh, just where we open up the P.O. box that you guys have sent through this week. 
All right, so uh, this week we hadn't been sent anything, so um, we've gone and pretended that we've been sent something. And, um, oh, oh, what's this? Wrapped in a little paper towel, like a little cylinder thing. Perfume spray, it says. I wonder. It can't be good for you to breathe in that. Yeah, I have read that. So that's. Hey, spray that there. That's how you spray that. That's how you spray that. If you didn't know. <laughs> oh, God's had a breathe. <laughs> I feel sick. Yeah, that is intense. That really, that really hags in the air, doesn't it? Oh, oh my god, dude, this is. Whew. Carcinogens. Oh yeah. fuck yeah, that's another <laughs> one less day we live because of that decision. <laughs> fuck dad. Oh, oh, oh my god, yeah. there's presents. There's presents in me. Oh uh, yeah. All right, and that's the end of the PO box segment this week. Hello. Hello. Everyone, go ahead and wave at the screen, everyone. Hello, it's Marty and Michael here, and we just want to let you know it's stunt time. Woo! Now, <coughs> this is mixed with science, too, so it's stunt with science time. You know how everyone says, Oh, if Pepper gets in your nose, you sneeze? I call bullshit on that. Yeah, man, he calls bullshit on that fucking call fuck fest shit. Bullshit. All right, that's fuck fest shit. Don't be coming here saying you sneeze every time you fucking have pepper, you bitch. That's something out of the cartoons. You're a and fucking I have bitch. To say, cartoons not real. Hundred percent. Hundred percent. All right. So we'll grind some pepper and. We'll fucking throw the plate real hard against the wall. Yeah. Imagine if I had secretly um, made, like. made our own my own prank video on here, and I'd replace the pepper with black tar heroin. Reddit has some really interesting uh, comments about snorting black pepper, but we'll um. Mm. Oh fuck oh, off! Oh, now you're scaring oh, oh, me. I guess we'll wait. Oh, <laughs> to the end. Oh, 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 oh. Nah, that's pretty good. <laughs> He's using Buddha to crush the pepper to snort. Buddha's mm. <laughs> <laughs> a good guy. He's a great guy. All right, here we go. He's going to prove, disprove that you have to sneeze when you uh, inhale pepper. He's leaning down. He's snorting. Oh, he's snorting. Oh, he's nailed the whole line as a romper. Ah. Let's see. Let's see. He's come up. Let's see what happens. <laughs> All right, looks like we have got some bullshit. Science mixed with stunt. And that's, and that's what Stephen Hawking couldn't do because a cunt couldn't lift his arms. Wait, there's a sneeze coming on, maybe. Oh, shit. <laughs> no. Ah, you belly. fucking dicks. It's in my belly. Whoever writes Brain that is belly. shithead. Brain and belly. Whoever writes that is shithead. <laughs> <laughs> Whoever writes that is shithead. <laughs> <laughs> well, a lot of people actually were saying side effects of snorting black pepper include pain, which you didn't yeah, resolve I don't any feel pain. pain. So um, there's there's definitely blood some fucking pouring out of his nose. <laughs> there is a burning uh, sensation there. Uh, nasal bleeding. Then oh. they go back to pain. Then more blood. Instant regret. <laughs> oh. Um, oh. Uh, continuous bleeding and suicidal <laughs> thoughts. <laughs> Oh, you added that in. No, no, I shit you not. They're right Fuck there. off. How? Oh. Right there. So it's going to be a rough night. But no, dude, don't tell yourself that. That is fucking. Yeah, that, but that you just proved it wrong. Bullshit. Yeah. You, there you go. Oh, fuck dad, hey? Fuck dad, right. Okay, now I'm all uncomfy. <laughs> I'm all uncomfy. My face ain't uncomfortable. Fuck, oh. fuck, fuck. Kids, don't snort. Pepper. Pepper. All right. Next and final segment brings us to next and oh. final. Next and n next and next. Connor, stop editing that. He was now doing a remix on you. Now people are going to think that that's Connor editing that and not me doing that. He's doing tricks. They, they're going to think, oh, fucking yeah. Connor's fucking with the edit again. No, no, um, no, no, um, that's Connor <laughs> editing that. Hurrah! Stop doing that, kind of. The people just want to get on with the show. They don't want to hear no, that No, they see me shit. moving too. Yeah, it's editing. It's because he's so good with the green screen and shit that he's just done that. My throat hurts, man. <laughs> <laughs> My fucking throat hurts. It's all dry. I'm feeling sadder. I'm starting to feel sadder. Prank call time. 
uh, segment has changed to well, make a fool of the fish like Merton Tube, which is an elfish song at the pubs. Oh, it's hurting now. <laughs> Where's your uh, It's getting worse and worse. We got put on a silent. This week, we're going to call good old Dominoes. And while I'm talking to them, Michael's going to say a word into his mic. It could be like a word like pretzel. And then I have to get the Domino's employee to say that word. Thanks for coming, Domino's. How can I help you? Zilmia. G'day, mate. Um, is, what, what suburb are you guys in? Sorry? What suburb are you guys in? Domino's Zilmia. Zilmia. Okay, great. I was just checking to see if I was calling the right oh, one. Oh, yeah. Um, uh, can I just make a uh, pickup order, please? Pickup order? Yeah, it's quite a big one. It's five pizzas. Um, is yeah. there is there just um, what's that? Is there a grocery store near you guys? It's like Sorry? is there a grocery store near you guys as well? It's like an is there an IGA near you guys? Yeah, uh, it's uh, before the IGA. IGA, okay, sweet. Yeah. Um. Or so for the first pizza, can I just get a um large meat lovers, please, on a classic crust? Yeah, sure. Just give me a moment. Just give me yeah. a minute. That's fine. No worries, mate. <laughs> mm. Hello. Hey, mate. What was yeah. it? Car park. Um, also, um, can you say the word uh, car park? Sorry? Can you say the word car park? Yeah, uh, we do have the car park. Car park. Okay, sweet. Well, can I just get one large Hawaiian pizza? Uh, pizza. And can I get the stuffed crust on that one? Garlic All bread. of the classic crust? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. And what uh, sides do you guys have? Yeah, we do have the garlic bread, uh, meatballs, pizza bites, cheesy bread. Stem cell. It, um, all right, sweet. For the fourth pizza, can I please, can I please get a? Um, oh, it's like the it's cheese and stuff all over it. I think they have um, they have stem cells. Do you guys have stem cells? Sorry. Stem cells. Uh, do you guys have stem cell toppings? Oh no. He's going to put the manager on this show. Hello? G'day, mate. How you going? I got that. So, so what so are we. So that, uh, it's like barbecue meat lovers, Hawaiian, and pepperoni. Yep, and the garlic bread on the side. Garlic bread on the side, yeah. Yep, and the pepperoni was with a stuffed crust. Uh, pizza base. Uh, cheesy crust, yeah. Cheesy crust. Sorry, my yeah, yeah. my correction. My correction. Um, do you guys have the um stem cell toppings? Sorry. Do you guys have the stem cell toppings? Uh, no, no. Um, can you just say that word though? Sorry. Can you say stem cell? Stem cell. Yeah, yeah. All right, sweet. All right. So, how many pizzas is that? For the fourth, I'll get um yeah the the margarita the um the the cheesy. That's just the cheese one, isn't it? Stiff. Margarita, that uh, you'll be getting tomato on the cheese. Okay, sweet. I'll get one of them and um yeah. the stiff. And uh, also, do you guys have the stiff? Sorry. The stiff. Sir, what's that? The stiff. No, sorry, we don't know. Can you say it though? Because I, I just I don't believe you unless you say it. What? Okay, um, what Hello. Did you say it? Big sir. The stiff. I want you to say the stiff. Sorry, I'm not able to hear you. Like what? I said, say the stiff. Say the stiff. Sorry. S T I F F. S T I F F. Say the stiff. Stiff, sir. Yeah, there we go. All right, so the last one's yeah, the margarita, abortion. and um, yeah. also and just a one point two five liter Pepsi with an yeah. a- abortion iced tea. What? What? Do you guys have abortion iced no, tea? No. no, no, no iced tea. What? What? What kind of iced tea don't you have though? We don't. We don't sell the iced tea. Yeah, which one specifically was I asking for though? Boston. Abortion, yes, correct. All right, sweet. Um, uh, cancel that order. Uh, actually, I don't want it anymore, but thank you. And Oh, uh, we are asses. <laughs> Arse and hole. That was a good game, though, wasn't it? Oh, I like good- it. The, the stiff yeah. point was hot. 
the I thought it was a bit. Well. I felt like I was creeping them out a bit. Like when I was, I thought they were like starting to get a bit scared because they kept saying the stiff. Yeah, it's I like the way you said that. It was hear. cute. I found it nice. Mm. Definitely, um, we are the um, the best. We're mm. the best. We're the best. best. We're the best. We're the best. We're the best. We're the best. So on and so forth. The best forever. <laughs>